Okay, good. So this is our third workout of the week. You're going to need your dumbbells. You'll need um, a band, like a flat band, not a handle band, and your ab wheel, okay? So the first thing we're going to do are reverse lunges. I would say 15, 20 pound dumbbells. You do four sets. Uh, I'll say 10 reps on each leg, okay? If you're standing, just kind of do what you are a slide lunge, stand on the same leg. You gotta remember, check your position of your leg right through your heel. Go 10 on this leg, and then switch 10 on this leg. If you're not feeling this, then increase your, you know, your dumbbells, the, the weight of them, okay? So do your reverse lunges, and then you do a one-arm dumbbell row. We've done these before, so just leaning over, use your thigh, you know, a nice flat back, and you're just rowing in, keeping the dumbbell close to your side, your elbow close. Your shoulder, if it's not shrugging up, it's staying down, and you're squeezing your shoulder blade. You're doing 12 on this side, and you're changing. You can even stagger your legs if you want, that's fine. Whatever feels better to you. 12 on this side. So you're going to alternate the reverse lunge with this dumbbell roll. Then, you're going to do something new. You haven't done this before. This is a, well, if we had kettlebells, we call the kettlebell deadlift and swing. But I know you don't have kettlebells. You can use your dumbbells at time. So the position of this is this. Your dumbbell, it should be a heavy dumbbell, by the way. Um, I would say you want to start with at least 25 pound dumbbell, 25 to 30 pounds. The dumbbell is placed behind you, behind your heels, okay? You are standing, I want to say, I want to get rid of my hand here. A nice wide, maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width, maybe shoulder, just a nice wide base. Dumbbell behind you. You're going down to get that dumbbell. Now you see my hips? They're up. I'm not squatting down again. My hips stay up. I'm standing up and just pushing my pelvis through. That's what you do on this. And you put it down. And every time I want you placing it back down. Up. Every time it touches. Behind your heels. Keep your hips up. Twelve times you do this. And I'm going to say this is twelve. Then you start swinging. You swing your dumbbell. And you stay up. And actually, you're not lifting the dumbbell. It's the momentum of your pelvic that's making your dumbbell swing. And that's why you really want a heavy dumbbell because you don't want any lifting this for your arms. And so you do 12 of this. Okay? And that's that. So you're doing your kettlebell deadlift with swing. And then we're going to go and do... Um, our push-ups. Now I know you're not a push-up girl, you don't like push-ups. We're going to stay on your knees, but we're going to make them a little bit harder. So, take the band, the flat band, not a handle band, because it probably hurts you. Put it around your back, and I put it in your thumbs like that. On your knees, hands down. And just do your push up. I'm going to get full range of motion all the way down. The resistance of the band coming up, what you feel coming up, you know, maybe a little tougher for you. So do, you know, about 15 of those. Okay, you're going to alternate then that dumbbell deadlift swing with your push ups. Okay, you do four steps of that. Um, then we are going to do your ab wheel. Did you have your ab wheel? I think last time when we did the ab wheel, you, you did like only six reps, and we held it like a three-second count. This time, though, I just want you to do it. Don't hold it. Just do three sets between 10 and 12 reps. Remember, you want to try to get as full extension as you can. Keep your stomach pulled in. Pull. 